Web psychology is a term I coined in 2011 to describe the empirical study of how our online environments influence our attitudes and our behaviors. Essentially, it's about the psychology of online persuasion. And the reason I coined the term was because there is so much incredible research that's being done all over the world that looks at aspects of our online behavior. This is just a sample of some of the fields of study that look at this. So things like human-computer interaction, cross-cultural psychology, which we'll look at today, social psychology, neuroesthetics, the way that your brain responds to visual stimuli, and behavioral economics, for the, the ways in which we behave in seemingly irrational fashions online and offline. All of us exist within a global platform. So if you want to convert a global audience, you have to be very careful about being culturally sensitive to their particular needs. Different cultures, as I mentioned at the beginning, have very different usage strategies, so one size will not fit all online. Web psychology, I believe to be a really great starting point for providing you psychographic information on how best to persuade people at a psychological subconscious level. And as a starting point, you can use Hofstede's work to figure out how best to inform your design so that you start off with a head start. Interestingly, some of the time when we need to put in um, research into the psychographics of our own audiences, we can get blindsided by the fact that we believe to be similar to them. So me talking to all you English people right now, if I said something based on my instincts, my values, and my beliefs, because we're all English, I might assume that we're on the same page. You can never, ever make that assumption. Thank you.